So, lesson two, data relationships. In the last lessons, we had discussed different kinds of entities. If you recollect, we used a lady, a book, a house, tree, and a tablet or device. So, one of the things that's very interesting is that these entities that have attributes can be related or have some kind of connection. And that's what I want to talk about in this lesson. So let's look at this lady. She definitely is connected or she lives in a house or houses, depending on where she is at any point in time. That is what is called a one-to-one -one relationship. And you can only sleep in one house at a time. So this lady can only sleep at one house at a time. She cannot be sleeping in two houses. So in the same way, we can have like a one-to-one -one relationship, you know. So, so the idea is that in, in, there are some entities that are constrained to only connect on a one-to-one -one basis. So she can only sleep in one house at a time. So that's a sort of one-to-one -one relationship. Now, there are deeper ways of explaining this, but I just looked at something that is very simple that you can relate with. So it's one-to-one. -one. But this same lady can have three phones. That's permitted. Yeah, or, you know three phones so and that is usually called a one-to-many relationship that is one entity can have a connection or relationship with more than one other entity so what is interesting sometimes is that she can have three books you know we can have one person reading three books or one book being read by three different people so that is another kind of very complicated, not complicated, but a bit advanced um, uh, relationship. So that is usually called the many-to-many -many relationship where um, different entities can combine in different ways. So it depends on what context you are trying to look at. So relationship or connection, whatever word you use, we have the one-to-many the um the one to many which you just i mean the one to one which you explained and the one to many and then the many to many so let's move on so looking at this person just to explain a bit more about many to many we may have grace read physics and geography textbooks so that's one to many that's one to many and isabella is reading physics and economics Mary is reading all three, physics, geography, and economics. So it's a one-to-many relationship because it's like a combination of, I mean, many, many to many, sorry, pardon me, relationship because it's like a combination of um, many, one-to-many's in many uh, formats. So basically just letting you know that a, a many-to-many relationship is actually a kind of cross-connected one-to-many relationships. So because the relationship with Mary and the other books is one to many. One book can be read by many people or one student can read many books. So that's what we call a many to many relationship. So nested relationships is another kind of relationship which is very interesting where, and the best way to illustrate it is a man who is married in our own parts of the world here in Nigeria. A man can be married to two wives or some other parts of the world too. So they have in themselves, uh, and each of the women have their own children. You know, that happens a lot where I come from, in the part of the world I come from. So the relationship of the man to his wife is one to many. A man may have several wives. So it's a one to many relationship. And the relationship of the women with their children maybe one to many this is what we call a nested relationships and this is on two levels the man to the woman the woman to the children sometimes it could be as crazy in your career as four levels of relationships let's say each of these children have toys so it goes it could go on and on but usually i don't think in my entire career i've seen really more than five limits but just to know that that exists, there's something called a nested relationship where several one-to-manys are combined. So 
that is that with the nested relationship. So an overview of these relationships, we have talked about the one to many, where the relationship with the entity is constrained in such a way that there can only be one person on one on both sides connected. And then we, I mean sorry, one to one. And then we talked about the one to many relationships. And we talked about the many to many and then the nested relationships. So I'll move on. Uh, let's go on to lesson two, lesson three, where we talk about 